welcome back to my channel i am finally doing my closet tour and closet organization it's been a couple of months since i showed you guys how i built my custom ikea packs wardrobe system and i have been gagging to show you guys my closet but the main reason for the delay is because I had wanted my mum to be the first person to actually see my wardrobe. So this video is actually dedicated to my late mother. I love you mum, this one's for you. I know how much you would have loved this closet and may you always rest in peace beautiful. Mwah. Woo, shake that off. Hello, if you're new, my name is Lorraine and my channel is Lobby Lux and I focus on curvy fashion, affordable luxury, lifestyle and travel. If you love that too, I hope that you do then please subscribe to my channel and also press that notification bell so you never miss a video from me i thought i'll just give you a brief background information of the ikea packs system and how much everything was because that is my most asked question so i got this wardrobe from ikea and it was from their ikea packs built-in wardrobe system so you can actually do this online yourself and build your dream or custom wardrobe that you love or you can do what i did girl and actually go into ikea and get somebody to actually help you to put together and build your wardrobe before i actually went in i knew exactly what i wanted i had watched so many wardrobe tours inspiration on pinterest i had pictures i picked up four frames two big frames and two small frames picked up the drawers that i wanted different drawers have different prices add-ons like lights which i'm going to show you and also accessory add-ons for sunglasses jewelry again i'm going to show you all of that so everything cost 870 pounds i got it delivered and assembled as you would have seen in my building my custom wardrobe video and that cost 130 pounds and then i also got frames for my wall i got ornaments decorations organizers shoe rack stool and so many other bits and bobs that alone came up to like 500 pounds so all together my closet cost me so far 1500 pounds i still have a few bits and bobs i still have to add but so so happy with how it's come out enough talking let's get into the closet tour so this is the view when you first walk in so in this corner we've got this frame which i absolutely love it kind of gives me like decennia print vibes the stand or container actually comes separately i think i picked them both up from the range we've got this rack wooden rack which i love i got this from amazon i really really like it i use this to put my coats on let me know if you guys want to see my coat collection or maybe like my winter coats or something like that let me know in the comment section i ended up finding this is it chalet i think that's what you call it i found this on amazon trust amazon to always come through i absolutely love it and then i just draped this throw on top of it and the throw i believe is from the range right in front of the window i've got this stunning anisa kimiche vase it was expensive honey it was 340 pounds but we moved now i went ahead and put some dried pampas grass inside i actually picked this up from amazon this is actually sitting on my shoe cabinet like you would never have guessed right when you're looking at it it looks like a regular chest of drawers cabinet right this is actually a shoe rack you can open it up and this is what it looks like because i wasn't going to display all my shoes the idea of a shoe rack was just causing me so much anxiety so i got this one um and then it's got another drawer here at the bottom We're going to start with the first frame that's closest to the window and right at the top i have like a storage basket which i keep all my scarves and everything on the second shelf we've got my dior clutch right at the back there and then i've got a little pineapple ornament there and i think i picked it up from the range this closet is still a work in progress honey once i have bags worth displaying that's what's going to be filling up most of these spaces on the third one we've got another storage container this is where i keep my underwear i'm not going to show you what's in there girl. at the bottom here you've got my jeans and some trousers honey i've got some like dressy trousers from opoly i think these are my levi jeans this is also one of my favorite pair of jeans from misguided those are my primark jeans let me know if you 
you guys want to see my denim collection or my jean collection and then coming down at the bottom here these are my gucci heels and also valentino rock stars i spoke about these in my worst designer purchase you guys because these shoes are so so uncomfortable the best thing they've done for me is be a display shoes okay because they look so so pretty there. <laughs> Moving on to the last frame on the other side of the wardrobe, we've got another storage container right at the top. This is also like my miscellaneous container where I keep like my iron, some waist trainers as well. This is the second compartment. I don't know if you can see in the back there, but let me zoom in. I've got my Louis Vuitton receipt envelope at the back there. And then at the front here, we've got another like gold stand thing. In the next compartment, I've just got my Louis Vuitton LBB, honey. It's just there by itself, honey. And then at the bottom here, we've got the drawers, okay? So I've got a glass drawer over here. And then I've got one, two, three, four normal drawers at the bottom there. Not sure if you can see that chip on that right hand side. I just could not be bothered to get another one or get it returned. So it came like that. That's super annoying. I've got some bags showing here at the front. That's my Prada nylon bag dupe. And then that's my Giuseppe gold shoulder bag, which I also regret because look at it, a hot mess. Inside, I've got some pajamas here, but mainly like tank tops and stuff. I use the Marie Marie Kondo folding method, honestly, lifesaver. The next drawer has like my bras. On the left hand side, I've got some pajamas here. These were gifted to me by Boohoo. I absolutely love them. These ones were from Victoria's Secret. I love them as well. These ones are also from Victoria's Secrets, but majority of them were from Primark. In the next drawer, I've got like my dresses and stuff like that. This is like my everyday kind of drawer like axi dresses i've got some skirts in here this drawer is like my joggers i love joggers you guys these ones are from boohoo these are shorts from Primark. These ones are from Primark as well. These ones are from Zara. And these leggings are from Pretty Little Thing. I think I show them in my Me versus Pretty Little Thing model. At the bottom drawer, I've got more joggers. These are shorts from Primark. These are high-waisted rib trousers from Pretty Little Thing. <laughs> I really love the idea of like an intertwining hanging space. So we'll start off with this side. This is my kind of like long dresses, long pieces, really dressy and like going out kind of section. So if I just show you a few of the outfits, for example, you probably recognize this one from ASOS, which I showed you on a reel. And then this other maxi dress, which I love from Shein. Off the shoulder, bardo dress from misguided i love this oh put that back got this one from fashion nova which is stunning i've just got a lot basically as you can see let me zoom in at the top there like there's a lot of hangers honey so it's a lot of clothes okay not sure if you can see properly but right at the bottom here i've got a couple more drawers and these are in like a basket style and they can actually pull out as well I tend to keep like my bikinis and stuff in here and then at the bottom here i've got like my onesie like huge jumpers over on this side i kind of keep my tops sweaters t-shirts in the blacks for example i've got this mesh blouse from iso at first also have this off-white t-shirt which i am obsessed with and then peek this shoulder pad sweater i'm obsessed with this this is from h&m at the bottom here i've got my blazers my denim jacket my cropped coat and cardigans and hoodie i've got this hourglass blazer which i'm obsessed with from asos i absolutely love it we also have this taupe oversized blazer from misguided again i'm obsessed with this we have this cropped blazer here in like this hound's tooth pattern which is oh i love it um, my denim jacket's here one of my favorite favorite quote and then right at the top i have all my like designer bags just kind of like piled there doing up aesthetic or whatever but if i was to show you for an example what's behind here i put some shoes in this box to kind of again create more space i've got shoe boxes 
bedding. This is a good way of keeping the top of your wardrobe like nice and tidy and actually using the back of it to store like more stuff. <laughs> At the very top, I've just put one of my Louis Vuitton boxes there and then a pair of one of my favorite, favorite heels. These are my Balenciaga um, court heels. Moving down, I have this like jewelry head, which I think is so, so cute. I got this from Amazon and they have like different colors, like white, black. And then I've put my Louis Vuitton lock necklace on there. I've got my Louis Vuitton belt just there displayed my fendi box which is super super cute my louis vuitton toiletry pouch at the top there and what i'm actually using to like stack it up are some louis vuitton like boxes i've got my balenciaga city mini it's a bit wonky isn't it but yeah at the bottom here i've got my so kate crocodile skin shoulder bag this really really cute frame again giving me decenio vibes as well and then i've got this gold tray which oh i love that tray i'm not sure where i got this actually i've got these candles you guys i'm sure you guys have been seeing these everywhere i think i picked mine up on amazon as well i've got that pineapple ornament like similar to this one and then i've got this vase from h&m one of my favorite parts you guys is this drawer here where i keep my jewelry and my belt but it's a pull out drawer so if we pull it out the light switches off and then turns on again i've just got some bracelets here i love this one from lidjo london this was a gifting this is my louis vuitton bracelet my casio watch this is my dior choker as well my l plate necklace which i love these earrings are from asos i absolutely love them we've got my shades here these are my celines I've got my belt here. This is my Gucci Dionysus belt, my other Gucci belt, the black one, and just a normal black belt. A cool thing that I really, really love about my closet is that it's got lights. Let me show you so I can just do that. And then the lights turn on. And if I wanted lights, I could do the same thing. Pop this light on and then Voila, here we go, lights. I can see all the way at the back there. As you can tell, the first drawer is like a glass drawer. And then I've got some bags kind of like showing and like displayed at the front there. You probably recognize most of them if you've watched my She and Dupes video. If you open up this drawer, you see my accessories, my belts and my hat. Um, this one is the H&M and Kangol collaboration beanie. Um, this is a fedora hat. I can't remember where I got it from. And then I put my Gucci headband at the top just to make it a little bit more stylish or whatever. At the back there, I've got some like AliExpress belts. I've got my MCM, um, I'm the name of this bag. And then I have some belts here. This one is from Shein. And actually this one is from Shein as well. This is what it looks like. Um, you probably have seen both of them. I think on my Instagram and then I've got some like fur scarves shovels I think they're both from Topshop from a few years back in this drawer again using the Marie Kondo folding system I've got some tops on the left hand side I've got some skirts some dresses and trousers in this drawer this is my trousers leggings drawer so i've got my leggings here loads and loads of leggings some leggings here as well some cycling shorts i love a cycling short and then i've got my trousers that one's from boohoo this one's from pretty little thing the last drawer is like my work drawer these are like my blouses trousers oversized shirt i like to keep all my work stuff together it's, it's easier for me when i'm going to work that took me longer than I thought it would to film this closet tour, you guys. I'm not 100% there. And hopefully as I'm building up my designer handbag collection, I will be able to fill them up. And obviously I will be updating you guys along the way. If you do have any questions for me related to my closet, ask me down below and I'll get back to you. You know I love talking to you guys. If you have liked this video, then do not forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really, really helps me out. If you come all this way, thank you so much. You're a real one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also so press the notification bell so you never miss out a video from me make sure you're having a lovely day night evening wherever you are and i'm going to see you back here in my next video bye guys